Tsurugaya is like a chain store of uh, secondhand anime goods in Japan. This particular one has like manga and books and magazines and I usually don't look in there. But in this video I'm going to go and look at all of the Tsurugaya stores in Nepomashi. So you can know what you can find, where they are and uh, what kind of what kind of stuff there is secondhand, what kind of prices there are. So I'll, I'll put a map indication on the on the screen of where this one is but I'm not going inside there. Um, so let's go, let's go on a tour of Surugaya shops in Nepombashi. So I'm walking down Ota Road now, which is like the main anime street. And the Surugaya shop is a little bit hidden. There's like a big sign there saying it's on the second and third floor. But you might be like, where's the entrance? It doesn't like, the entrance doesn't look very apparent here from uh, the main street. So on the right there where there's a vintage um, Solid Snake and Mario, and there's a, an old school box as well, there's this doorway. And there, figures from on the second floor and key rings and like postcards and things are on the third floor. What's going to take the elevator? Um, the stairs are not, honestly no problem. So let's go. When you first come in, there's like some really rare ones. It's quite high price tags. Well, I don't know. There is upstairs anyway. And then this is it. I'm not a big fan of figurines anymore because they're all quite expensive. Um, but I do have respect for Nendoroids. Oh my god. Is that Kurapika? It is. It's got, he's got a weird spelling of his name. It's Kurapika from Hunter Hunter. That's cool. And uh, Crawler too. What the heck are these new? Is that Leonardo? <laughs> it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's just rows and rows of figures. So many. There's a Son Goku from Dragon Ball, not Z. Oh, it's like all Dragon Ball, it's all um, Hiroaka here, My Hero Academia. Oh, Himako, I like her. Honestly, too much to film and too much to see. But Tsurugaya um, is a really, really great chain of buying secondhand stuff. And it's all like boxed as well. It'll say whether or not it's brand new or if it's used, like if the box has been opened, but usually everything's been put back in excellent condition. People really take care of their secondhand things in Japan. Bokuto from Haikyuu, $75, roughly. And there's a couple of Figma here. Is there anything that I know? Uma Musume, like horse racing game, which is very popular in Japan. Lots of the horse girls here. Oh, Gilgamesh from um, Fight Say Night. He's got a lot of weapons, damn. And then there's lots of uh, like Gundam models as well. I bet Vinci Boy, my Kiwi member, would love this. Oh, they've got like some anime looking ones, weird. Cool. I don't know if this is Gundam. Oh yeah, this is Gundam. $43, wow. Not a fan of Gundam, not a fan of robots really, but there you go. You, this, is, this is an option as well. This is, a, this is available too. Even got like retro Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. Are in ja is it in Japanese? No, these are from overseas, wow. It's an old car? Models. If you like that, it's not like you're a vintage collector. Not, um, not anime. A couple of secondhand bagged up One Piece figurines. Maybe these were from Gachapon. Oh, I like that guy. He's from um, the CP9 arc. Oh, and there's Luchi as well. Hey, they're, they're both from, they're all from CP9. Hmm. Lots of new box figures too. Hmm. Oh, this is what I was talking about earlier. These are like the really expensive. That's $90. No, $90? $900. <laughs> That's $900. Wow. $160 for that um, Persona 5 one. Joker. That's $220. Wow. These are the really expensive figures. Light Yagami, $140. L, $137. Oh, cool. Banana bread. Some Naruto ones as well. Sasuke's $100. Oh, lots of Twisted Wonderland. That's really cool. They're like, that's like $200 that one. Huh? Is there anything else really cool that I like? There's more Dragon Ball up there. Wow. Vintage, uh, what's it called? Laputa? Castle in the Sky Laputa. Yeah, that's Ghibli. Ghibli magazine for $60 just for a magazine. I think it is. Wow. Hmm, well, lots of lots of puzzle games. I've never been back here before. Cool. Puzzle game? These might be board games. Catan. <laughs> Settlers of Catan. I like that one. 
Oh, there's the Dragon Ball one again, but I was looking at this. This is the limited edition from when the Nintendo shop opened up. Uh, you can buy Shizue. What's her name? Isabel? Isabel and the two Tom Nook sons. Or nephews. Very, very cute. Very expensive, but not for an amazing quality figure. It's just limited edition, I guess. And uh, more Gundam. And my reflection as well. This is hilarious. This is like a bootleg uh, mini Nandoroid. They have like Nandoroids um, that are like this, where it's like it looks kind of like the same style, but it's not customizable. Um, it's the main guy from Squid Game. It's two dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> I'm actually gonna buy that. And they've got um, the, the evil guy too. I think that's two dollars as well. I'm gonna leave that one though. I won't buy that. Funny. I like Squid Game a lot. I, I, um, I don't know if season two is going to be any good, but when you're watching it, it's good. But when you think back on it, you're like, it's a pretty simple story. Like, but it was pretty adrenaline rushing. I had to watch every episode back to back. I'm going to get that. And I've just come up the stairs one more time. <gasps> Genshin, this is my floor. This is my domain. Floor three is the Sugaya key ring and merch um, section. They got the really, really expensive things here. Look, the old uh, limited edition Cafe Shao. The price has gone down on the Klee only Gachapon. It was a Gachapon where there were five different figures and Klee was like a secret one that wasn't mentioned. So that one's really, that's crazy. It's 300 yen normally for a pull of that. But they've got it there for $65. Lots of other things as well. Niji, Niji Sanji, which I think is um, VTubers. Yep, very, very expensive. But let's go inside. Oh, <laughs> shout out to Not Disappointed. Wow. 4,300 yen for the full set of the All Access cards. I was able to get them um, for Not Disappointed. He's got all of them. There you go. Immediately when you come in, there's Blue Lock and Spy Family. Um, maybe things will change later. What animes are popular and stuff. <gasps> We've got a Shao plush from the, um, the old Crane game. And there's a, Ka a Kaio one as well, 4,000 yen. That's pretty good, that's pretty cheap for Shao. He's normally really, really expensive. They got like lots of old events. What's that? Oh my god. It's um. It's Honkai Star Rail. Wow. I haven't seen many Honkai Star Rail merch around here. Oh. Amber's Vision. Bennett's Vision. Amber's Vision. 700 yen, quite pricey. Oh. That's limited edition from the Haiti Collaboration. I would buy that if I didn't or if I didn't already have it. Cute. Clee from the first concert. And they've even got like CD collections of you could actually listen to the to all the music from the concert. Cool. Oh. 2021, 2021, New Year's Shingshu and Chongyun. This might be birthday letter from Xiao. Does it say who it is there? Guz Gu. Kiara. Oh, I can't read it. It could be Shongli. I'm not sure. What is that? This is a cool card. Postcards of places, maybe? Wow. Ningguang, Ningguang signed card and a Bennett birthday card from Sweets Paradise. $2.20, good. Lots of limited edition Kimitsu no Yaba postcards, which they don't have anymore from like collabs and stuff. So very expensive just for a postcard. Wow, that's from the, um, the Tsukiya food collaboration. It's pretty reasonable if you want to get the Tanjiro card. Lots of cool coasters and postcards. Lots of other anime things here. Um, I know that Vinci Boy likes this one. So I've been finding lots of things for him here and at other shops. Hanako-kun. Well, um, Pluto and Luca, they love it. There's lots of Hanako stands here, but they're all over a thousand yen. Here we go, very, very cute. I saw there was a Mitsuba one at the back. Where is that boy? There he is, Mitsuba. A very, very saucy looking Teru as well. Oh my goodness. Is that Ko or Teru? It's Teru, it's the older brother. Very cool. But lots of acrylic stands and key rings and things. Uh, I think this is from Zelda. It says banana fish, banana bread. I mean, banana bread. Might be in the wrong section, Nintendo. Yeah, there we go. There's banana, banana bread. There he is. Hmm. That key ring and badge section has tons of baskets that have like um, 300 yen or less of badges and key rings and poster cards and stickers and coasters from Cafe Collabs. So I bought a lot of stuff, particularly for Luca and Pluto and Vinci Boy, some of my Kiwi members. Um, please become a Kiwi member if you'd like me to buy some stuff and maybe send it to you. 
Um, let's go to one more Surugaya store. It is the outlet store. They have, everything is about 100 yen in these baskets outside and you have to dig and find something. Um, so it's just up the street. I don't know if I can see it from here, um, but let's go now. Oops. I came from over that way, you can't see. And this is the Surugaya outlet. So here, just outside, there's like some uh, baskets. These baskets here, there's a car coming. These baskets just outside, and you can search for it, you can dig around. I think everything's 100 yen here, um, and you can find some really good bargains. I've been able to find um, Ayato's uh, Vision from Genshin. This is Kazu has one. Basically this, but blue, hydro. Ayato's Vision, can we get much higher? It was $1. Normally 300 yen for um, doing the gachapon, um, and probably like 700, 800 yen if you were to find it in a shop. So let's get digging. Let's see if I can find something. the really really cool figurines of um uh genshin it's ether and lumine sora and hotaru very very cool really expensive though they're like 180 dollars they've also got um bochi the rock over here it's for acrylic sands and an enderoid of bochi very very cute and at the bottom chainsaw man Ooh, i'm in kotobuki by the way Oh wow, they've got a non Haiti version of Ayato. It's official Genshin, but the Haiti symbol has been removed from Ayato. Much cheaper, half price, but not legit. I mean, it is legit, but it's not, it's not the Haiti one. It's a very, very cute badge or something. What is this? It's Fenty, I don't know what it is. It's like a jacket or poster or something maybe it's acrylic there's a little key ring as well extra large i wonder if it's clothes uh, shongli pillow and a postcard set very very expensive postcards 2300 yen but very very cool oh my god it's like kli akong shongli ride and shogun wow Hmm, these are only 700 yen, these posters. I've got a um, fake Pizza Hut Amber as well. Pizza Hut's been removed from it. But very, very cool to see this design um, in Japan. Hmm. It's a very cool character. There's another Surugaya here on the third floor and they've got like a map up there. A map of all of the Surugaya shops. All of the different ones. I think this is the one that I'm at. They've got the outlet there and then the other one. Maybe that's the outlet. Autoreto, yeah, that's it. Uh, auto -lodo. Auto road. Autoreto, yeah, that red one's the outlet one that I was just at. So then there's here. This is a really good map, actually. The auto road is here. And then that's the, the one that I went to where there was the second floor and third floor. The red one's the outlet one where I was digging. That red one's the bookstore up there. And then this one, well, there's a counter here where you can buy and sell. But I'm not, I can't do that. You have to be a Japanese resident to be able to do that. I mean, I can do that, but you probably can't do that. Um, you can sell, not buy and sell, just sell. Sell things. So maybe on the third floor, I can find another city guy. I've never been to this one. Um, um, maybe not, maybe I can't go here. So actually, maybe may, maybe this is just where they do like all of their sorting. Like they buy things here, and then they sort it up on the third floor, and then they send it off to the other stores. But um, looking on the map, there is another Sudugaya on the main street. I don't know what this is called. That this is Ota Road. This is just like the main number street, and it's there. And it sells like lots of stuff with like twenty percent, thirty percent stickers on it. So good deals. Let's go there last. I went into um, Animate for a hot minute because Corsia, my star key member, wanted me to pick up some goods for him. Wow. It's so busy, I can't film here. I'm looking for um, some Genshin stuff for Corsair. Oh, there it is, it's over there. You see the Genshin? He was after um, Eula and Hutao goods, um, but it was really, really busy, so I couldn't do much filming. 
I saw an acrylic stand of Hu Tao, which I snatched up. And then I also saw this um, metallic key ring of Eula, which is really, really cool. Um, all up, it was about $30, but buying new and getting exactly what you want, new, brand, brand new, mint condition is very, very good. And for spending um, over a certain amount, I think over $20, I was able to get a postcard. <gasps> I saw the flash of green just now. It was one of three designs, Tinari, Ayato, and Eula. And, ah, uh, I just dropped the Eula missile uh, key ring on the ground. I'm pathetically picking it up now. Cool, <laughs> there we go. I was able to get Tinari, very happy with that. I really like that boy. Um, and shout out to Corsair, Starkey member. New goods for you. Finally made it to, oh, there's Heragong, by the way, that sells all the, like, Transformer and um, superhero stuff. I finally made it to the final Sudagaya. It's here on the main street. There's these, like, Kimitsu no Yaiba, I mean, not Kimitsu, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen flags. And lots of the stuff here is really good. It has, like, stickers saying, like, 20%, 30%, 50% off. Um, so let's go check it out. The Sudagaya, another, the, the last Sudagaya shop. I always immediately come here, just on the right. There is a um, hunter hunter section, very, very small hunter hunter section. I'm always looking for oh my, a badge from the um, hunter hunter exam. Wow, there we go, 20% off a Hisoka cafe badge. Oh, an election ging I just punched, just like how Leorio punches him. Oh, that's a, okay, they're, they're together now. Very cool, oh, that is a really expensive Leorio acrylic stand there. Cool. A couple of hunt hunter things. There's another one at the back. Is it the same price? Yep, the same. Hmm. That's um, C. Don't know what it's called. Oh, could have picked and crawler card, gong card. Mm, nothing good today. But these two, <laughs> they're quite like that. That's all right. But I don't, I don't collect so many badges. A couple of Kamitsu no Yaiba things. I'm immediately seeing the milky collaboration with Peko-chan, which has got a cute gyu there. That's not so bad for a little um, metal tin. Um, oh, this is from the Drinks Cafe. That's gyu. Gyu from the Drinks Cafe is an acrylic stand. It might just be like a little key ring. It's missing like the metal or the little tag there to attach it and use it as a key ring. Still really expensive, but it was limited edition. Wow, that's the drink that gyu had. I didn't get it. Gyu wasn't my favorite character at the time. Uh, Zenitsu was, I think I got his drink. Half price, 800 yen, still 800 yen for a coaster. Wow. Hmm, lots of limited edition Kimitsu no Yaba stuff. And over here as well. The main reason why I like the Surugaya is it has the biggest um, persona section. Usually over here I can find persona things, yes. Persona, persona, persona. So I always come here looking for Vinci Boy, Big Fudge and myself. Couple of, couple of Persona things. There's the main character from Persona 4, 4,400 yen. Ooh, let's see if I can find this. Like Persona 1 and 2, which I don't really like, I don't really know anything about. Um, yeah, it's quite difficult to look with one hand, so I might stop recording. I can see an Eori badge at the back there. I think I've sent a key ring of that to Vinci Boy before. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop filming and have a little look. But yeah, very cool, Sudogaya. Well, it was, it was quite a quick visit. I actually didn't find anything this time, uh, but that's okay. I bought a lot of stuff today in Nipponbashi, and now it's time to go home and see what's in my bag. Um, there'll be another video. If you want to see what I bought in Nipponbashi, please check out the other video. Maybe it's appearing above my face somewhere. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you know where all the Surugaya shops are in Nipponbashi, and I hope this video helped you. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, Shout out to my Kiwi members whose names are apparent on screen and um, see you all for the next video. But please watch that, um, what's in my bag.